had knowledge, he had wisdom about the Egyptian uh, 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 culture and the palace. So Zimbabwe, you are highly favored in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Moses who is delivering the nation of Zimbabwe, he has got great wisdom, he has got great experience. I will not mention the name because all these people who are contesting, they have wisdom and they have uh, experience. But this one is higher experience. Yes, higher experience. You are taking Zimbabwe to another level. Never be scared. The Lord is with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. God has anointed you like the days of David. You remember when David was anointed by God. David was somewhere. You were somewhere. And you were standing the sheep. And when the prophet went to look, actually, for the one to, to anoint, the father had to bring different our brothers and he said no the one that god wants to anoint is not here <laughs> so the man that god is anointing there was some a certain time when he was not here but now god yes yes allowed him to be here once again and god has protected him this is the man that god is raising to lead zimbabwe so zimbabweans i'm saying to you i know god is going to raise um different people different candidates during the elections and I know most of the people, they are going to put uh, their uh, stem on the leader that God wants to lead the nation. I salute you so much. May God bless you. You are not dying yet. May God keep you. And may God make his station upon you. The Lord loves you. Every internal battle the Lord is going to expose. If there are some people who are in internal team and they have been used by the enemy to bring down the leadership. God is fighting for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Zimbabwe shall never be the same again. I blow the trumpet of Zimbabwe for the nation is now experiencing jubilee. Whatever has been stolen from Zimbabwe is coming back. You, we are going to help, uh, uh, especially in the health sector, it's going to be so powerful. In the educational sector, it's going to be powerful. And in farming, it's going to be powerful. Because uh, God is raising right now people from all over the world who are coming as authentic investors and they are coming into our nation to support our nation and as i said before zimbabwe your current is going to be lifted because some of the people they are going to come from america some of the people they're coming from south africa and some of the people uh, they are going to come from other parts of the nations including china so the currents of zimbabwe is not going to be the same again in the mighty name of jesus christ the lord is rebuking every spirit of jobless among us the youth and the youth they are going to be employed because our industries they're going to be revived zimbabwe you will never be the same again my name is pastor bright and i'm still praying for you god loves you you are going to be the bread basket of africa we love you so much god bless you in jesus name amen